HRDs have always had an important role to play in, in supporting the talent agenda. But this last period, I believe that it's becoming a much more significant role, that CEOs and indeed the whole of the board are getting much more interested in, in talent. Uh, they're worried about you know, losing people, retaining people, being able to get access to the right ones. So I think the role's becoming you know, more significant and it's actually becoming a bit more important in terms of, uh, on, in terms of the business agenda. I think the, the role that an HRD can play with a CEO in relation to the talent agenda is to remind them that there is one, or should, certainly should be one, um, for the sort of current performance and future um, of the business. I think also there's um, guidance around visibility. Uh, you know, sometimes it's, it's almost too easy in busy lives to just focus what's in front of you rather than getting perhaps deeper and broader visibility of the talent within a business. So for me, I believe that uh, our role as an HR strategic business HR partners is to make sure that the talent agenda is at the top of the priorities for the CEO. And if that's already the case, uh, and we are in the luxury positions of that, I would say then it's to make sure that the CEO knows the talents, planning ahead, and actually making sure that the talents are very well visible in the organization. Um, I think uh, raising awareness of who the talent is in the organisation, particularly as you start to think about how you're developing your talent pipelines, but also thinking about how we develop our talent pipelines both internally and externally. So what does the market look like? Um, what are the challenges that the organisation is facing into? And I think the dialogue around the strategic plans and what that means for the talent pipeline is really important. So it's a two-way um, investment of time and energy from both parties. So I think strategic HRDs have an incredible role to play in terms of coaching and working with their CEOs on the, the talent agenda. So much is going on in the talent space right now. The market is incredibly hot. Um, throughout the pandemic, each and every one of us, I think, have been re-evaluating re our purpose. Um, how much we want to put into our working lives and how much we want to actually thrive in our overall lives. So we really have been re-evaluating that whole concept. And I think strategic HRDs are the ones shining a, a, you know, a guiding light to CEOs in terms of how to create that purpose, how to create an employee experience that's going to want people to be loyal to a certain brand and a certain culture. And then I think finally it's the challenge. Um, the opportunity to uh, challenge some thinking, perhaps how things have always been done, uh, replacing like with like, uh, and just shaking it up a bit. You don't necessarily always achieve the outcome that you're after, but I think those conversations can be positive regardless.